Hello everyone. So in this particular video, we will see how actually we can create a Azure Data Factory in a Azure space. So I hope you have already created a Azure account. If you haven't created a Azure account, please do create a Azure account so that you can do a practice along with me. Once you will create an account, you have to search for the portal.azure.com. Once you will log in in the portal.azure.com, you will see this particular screen. Now suppose you have to create any services. So in a search bar, you can select you can search any services. Suppose I have to create a storage account. I'll search for the storage. A storage account is coming. Suppose I have to create a SQL database. I'll search for the SQL. SQL database is coming. So that is one option. Second option in the left side, you will see different different services is there. So there that also you can use. What actually we are going to do? We are going to see how actually we can create a data factory. So in a search bar, I will search for the data factory. Search for the data factory. The data factory is coming, right? This is the particular symbol. I'll click here. I already have created one data factory that is showing here. But now we are going to see how actually we can create a new data factory. So click on the create. First you have to select your subscription. So whatever the free subscription you have, you can select that. After that we have to create a resource group. So click on the create new. Give any resource group name and click on the OK. I have already created one resource group. So I will use the same one. If you haven't created a resource group, click on the create new and create that. After that we have to give the information about the data factory. What is the name? So make sure the name should be unique. So give the unique name. So I am going to give data factory practical test something. So unique name I am giving. After that we have to select the reason. So you can select uh, near your reason. After that version we have to select and click on the next. If you want to configure any git, you can configure. So un uncheck this. And after that you have to pass the repo name, branch name and all the this kind of the details. But we are not going to do that. So I'll click on the configure git later. Click on the next networking. We will go with the public endpoint as of now. Click on the next. Next tags. You can give any tags. So I will give the name as a POC ADF. POC ADF just to recognize the data factory and after that click on the next after that you will see whatever the option you have selected all the information you will be able to see here we have to click on the create once you will click on the create you can see deployment is initialized you can see deployment is in progress so once the deployment is complete we will see how actually we can open a azure data factory so generally this kind of the activity is a one time only whenever you will join an organization you will see already data factory is created or you have to create a data factory. So this is the simple step we have to follow. You can see your deployment is complete. So click on the go to resource. Now here you can see launch studio Azure data factory studio. I'll click here. Now in this Azure data factory studio only we will do all the kind of the data pipeline creation and all so most of the time data engineer they will try to spend their time into this particular screen only so in the you can see in the left side we have a home option we have a author option in author option only we will try to create a pipeline data set data flow we will see about this like what is pipeline data set data flow in upcoming videos in a monitor section you can monitor your pipeline if any pipeline is running so for the monitoring perspective we will use a monitor and we have a manage option so we have a link service integration this all also we'll try to understand so i hope you got like how actually we can create a data factory so in upcoming video we'll try to understand more about the data factory components parts and all yeah, that's it in this video